It was a nice touchdown pass on a slant to Odell Beckham Jr. And as you see, this is the first time he has caught touchdowns in three consecutive games since 2015. It is worth reminding you, he was a New York Giant in 2015. <laughs> that means oh, through the entirety of his tenure in Cleveland, that never happened. Look at Swagoo with the glass. That's exactly the expression <laughs> I was looking for. Marcus, what should <laughs> 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 Get hydrated. Get hydrated. Let Take him know. a big fella. What should we be saying about Odell now based upon all the drama of his departure from Cleveland? What does all this mean? Coincidentally, okay. <laughs> uh, the philosopher Swagoo has entered the chat, and Odell Beckham Jr. can still play football. And most of the guys, I said this a long time ago, most of the guys that we consider great receivers – their quarterback's jerseys are also hanging in the rafters in those mm -hmm. stadiums. Mm -hmm. So it makes a lot of difference. And we see Matt Stafford, obviously a significant upgrade over Baker Mayfield and what he does from the quarterback position. We see an offense now where Odell Beckham Jr. is getting one-on-ones, and he, 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 he coincidentally wins those. And, mm -hmm. and when you target him, good things happen. So I don't know if this is news that's breaking. I don't know if it's, it's a groundbreaking discovery. I just think it's very interesting that we thought Odell Beckham Jr. couldn't play wide receiver anymore and that a team would be better without him because Preach. their quarterback can't focus on any other receivers when he's on the field. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Go ahead, Foxy, because well, I, I don't mean, have nothing else to say. They, they, they proved their point because their offense has been so much better, the Browns, that is, since they got rid – oh, no. It oh, seems Odell no, they was, <laughs> was never the issue. It does, I mean, it does beg the question, though, like what, how were they trying to use him? Because I think oh. we all understood that he's a playmaker. You get the, balls in his you get the ball in his hands. I, mean, I was covering those Giants teams, and, and when they hit him on that little slant last night at the goal line for the touchdown, I thought, oh, I remember that. The Giants <laughs> used to do that all the time. Mm -hmm. when he was on their team, and I don't remember the Browns ever doing it once. So the Browns used to say, well, he's a guy that can stretch the field for us, be a downfield threat, which, of course, he can, but that's not all he is, and I think if, the, if that's how Cleveland viewed him, then that goes a long way toward helping explain sort of what went wrong there, but obviously a significant weapon here for Matthew Stafford. As I was just sitting here thinking about this, Jeff, it is remarkable. The three primary quarterbacks that, that Odell has played with in his career were all the first pick in the draft. It was Eli Manning, oh, it was Baker Mayfield, and it's Matt Stafford. And he had enormous success with Eli. Sure. He, so far, so good with Stafford. It's a pretty limited sample size. What should we be extrapolating about Mayfield in particular from this? It, it ain't good. Listen, this, 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 doesn't, this doesn't put your stock going in the right direction. If you're waiting on that, that contract and the Browns are watching, they're like, yeah, we got rid of this guy. And all of a sudden, my numbers are still going down. And to everybody's point, everybody's making the same point. If, if you can't find the best guy and create – plays with your best player or best receiver, you got issues. And for Baker Mayfield, you know, the jury's still out on whether he'll get a big contract in Cleveland, but it does not help when a guy goes somewhere else and shows up the way that Odell has showed up. I think a lot of the issue in Cleveland, whether it has to do with the limitations of the quarterback or not, is that their, their system is their right. system and their offense is their offense. Right. And Odell's oh. a player that can get out there and see something and maybe change the plan and maybe freelance a little bit. That may not work in right. Cleveland, but it might work with Matt. It works I mean, everywhere. It yeah. works every I, 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 that's There's, not what I meant. Okay. What I meant is it might not work from Cleveland's perspective. We're piling on Baker here, but I think Stefanski deserves Stefanski, some of the blame yeah, also because yeah. that offense is also derivative of the same things as the McShay, as the McVay offense yeah. is derivative from. And somehow McVay has found a way to create an offense that also makes room for Baker May, excuse me, makes room for Odell Beckham Jr. But I will I will say that Beckham did have some injuries, so yeah. while he was at Cleveland, so it may be hard to build around a guy who's not healthy. All it the does time. not take a genius to know, get your best players the ball. Right. It doesn't take a genius. I don't care what anybody like, – like, listen, B Bill Belichick has made a career in – Whoever our best is, we're going to do what we do, what they do best. Mm -hmm. They didn't do it in Cleveland. That's Mar the bottom line. Marcus, put a ribbon on this. Go. Odell Beckham got three touchdown receptions since he'd been with the uh, Los Angeles Rams. He has seven in three years with the Browns. Amen. That's the boat. Oh, great. Yeah, that's the bottom line. Right yeah. 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 He, he, um, that, that, that's Looking it. I mean, like it's as simple as that. It, <laughs> there's really no – I, I mean, Greeny just got taken. I was, no, was going to do a stat, but I realized that one's better. So Greeny, what we got next? What we got next? We got basketball or something? Because that's <laughs> it for that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.